is a short term to lecture seven and it's a practical lecture about medicinal plants that are used to treat various diseases in cattle, goats, sheep, and poultry within Uganda and East Africa. This is lecture seven, it's by Kulaka Atarik, animal scientist. The first plant that we is commonly used is aloe vera, and this is a common plant that is within various homesteads, they cultivate it within buckets, or we have seen here that they are cultivated within the pollen bags. It's used to treat various diseases. For example, we have infectious causa, which is a bacterial disease. As signs we will see still there is swollen eyes or the head is always swollen. This is caused by the mycoplasma. We have mites, which is mite infestation. It's also treated using aloe vera. Then we have Newcastle disease. For example, this is a bird. It's infected by the Newcastle virus. We see the sign of torticollis whereby the neck is twisted. The other common plant that is commonly used is neem tree, which is a vegetal indica. And the active ingredient of this tree is azulachitin. And we use various parts of the plant. For example, we have the bark, then the leaves. It's used in treating and controlling these external parasites like the lights, flea. Then it's also used in treating and malaria sites in human. Then it's also used in treating these eye worms. For example, we see this is an eye worm. Within the bovine, but it has the worms inside. It's a fly parent. That's its major medicinal importance. The active compound is azulachitin. The second plant is albezia, cholaria, and this is it has various species. We have albezia and hermetica, then we have albezia cholaria. Albezia, this is how it looks like the bark, then the leaves. It's used to treat these internal worms. For example, we have the liver flux. For example, you see here this is a liver that has been infested by the flux. It really causes loss to the farmer because during meat inspection, liver which is infested by flux. It's always condemned. Albezia contains various active compounds. We have saponins and we have histamines. It's also used in treatment of these lung ones. The other common plant is Allium sativum, which is garlic, and it's used to treat cough or cold signs and then pneumonia. Garlic contains two compounds. The active compounds include allium. In icing. It's also used to treat ringworms and some intestinal worm infections. Garlic provides immunity. The other common plant that is used is red pepper, which is capsicum rudensis. This is red pepper. It's used in treatment of these internal worms infestations. It's also used in treatment of Newcastle disease within poultry birds. It's a duama, it's also used in diarrhea and in contagious pneumonia. The active compound is an alkaloid called cap The other plant is Carica papaya, which is plays a role in control of worms, this and helmetics, because it contains the active compound called papain. Papain helps in the treatment of these worms. It also contains flavonoids which are used in antibacteria. Carica papaya is used in treatment of retained placenta, for example, you could see here. This is a common case in within most of the herds. Carica papaya contains papain, which plays that antihermetic importance. It also contains flavonoids, which play the antibiotic and the pharmaceutical properties. It's used in treatment of constipation and retained placentas. The other plant is the trust ammonium, which is thorny apple. It's a poisonous plant. The trust of ammonium is also within the family of Swanase. It's used in treatment of ringworms. For example, you could see here this is cattle, but it has been infested by the ringworms. It has been infected by ringworms, so it's also a genetic disease. You need to always have your protective gear as the PPE is to handle such cases. The trust of ammonium contains active compounds like atropine, scopolamine, then hyacinth. It's used in treatment of ringworms. The other plant is eucalyptus, which is a common plant in 
East Africa. It's not a native plant. Eucalyptus syndrome, it's used in preventing or controlling these mosquito infestations. Remember, mosquitoes, the vector virus diseases, for example, we have rift valley fever, and they also transmit fallpox within the poultry birds. This eucalyptus we use the first part we have the bark and we have the leaves. What we do, we plant these trees around the heads. Eucalyptus contains various active compounds we have the tapanins, for example. Then it's used in treatment or controlling this life, lice and the mouse, the mosquitoes infestations within the heads. The other plant is Hysonia abyssinica. Hysonia contains that compound called Hysonin from the word Hysonia. We add here NE to make Hysonin. It's used in treatment of virus diseases. We have contagious bacterial pneumonia. It's used in treatment of trendy blood centers. And it is also used in treatment of lump skin disease. For example, here this is cattle, but you can see the signs of contagious bovine pneumonia. Here by the neck is extended. Then you shall, if you could be around, you could be hearing some grunting sounds. Then always the animal stands, but the legs are always wide. This is how the leaves and the fruits of the plant look like. We said it contains hyaluronin. It's also used in treatment of ten percenters and then abyssinians. The other plant that's used in Uganda and East Africa is Nicotina tobacco. This is tobacco. It's used to treat tick infestation. Whereby they just take, they make a paste of these leaves of the tobacco and then they smear around where the, where these ticks are infested. Nicotian and tobacco contains nicotine as its active home ingredient. It's also used in treatment of the eye worms. Remember, we saw the previous slide how the eye worms look like. The other plant that's used is guava. And this botanical name is Pesudium guanjava. It's used in treatment of diarrhea, whereby they use the leaves, then they make the drench. And they give the animals, this is how the bark and the fruit of the guava look like. Guava contains various ingredients, for example, the flavonoids, saponins, linoleic acid, and many more. It's mainly used in diarrhea infections. The other plant is used in Ascomius, which is the castor bean plant. It is a toxic plant, but it also provides the medicinal roles. For example, it contains leucinin. It also contains active ingredient being leucinin, then it has resin, which is a toxic which is a toxin. It also has resinoic acid. It's used in treatment of, of lamp skin, like we see here. These are the nodes, the nodules on the skin of the animal. They are always big, five centimeters. Then resinous communis is also used in treatment of constipation. Because resinous communis plays a laxative role and it helps in the movement of the bowel or the GID, the animal. Its common name is castor bean plant. It's also used in treatment of wounds and the placentas. The other plant is Sesebania sesaba, which we commonly know as the Eva bean. Sesebania sesaba plays a various medicinal role whereby it helps in treatment of East fever, which is a vector, which is a tick bone disease, and is common in Uganda. Sesebania sesaba also prevents or controls this. But these biting flies, we have like this flies, whereby these flies they they are biological vectors of prepanosome, which is which is genetic and can affect human as a physicalness or animals as a flies. Then we have so now in which is sodium apple, and this sodium apple affects mainly the nose of flies, whereby these ones are always within the nostrils of the animals, they cause aging. The other plant is Tagus Melinda, which is Mexican Marigold and plays an medicinal importance in controlling these external parasites like this and the Then we have Vanonia Ingredina, which is used in control of the Whereby you could see like this animal, the left side of the rumen it is extended. The other common plant is zinc, but which is ginger, and it's used to 
institute of diarrhea and then the worms. Thanks. Till lectures eight.